Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler and in this video we're going to be doing a product review of the new Zebco Big Cat Spin Casting Combo. We're going to tear this reel apart, see what it's made of, and we're going to take it out and try to catch fish on it. So stick around, we'll see if it's worth the money. Alright guys, this here is the Zebco Big Cat Spin Cast Combo. This comes with a uh, 7 foot medium heavy rod and a, it's a rebadged Zebco 808 spin casting reel. It's supposed to have uh, metal gears inside of it. We're going to find out here in just a moment. But uh, I'll show you what the price was. This thing was uh, $29.99 at my local Rural King. And I went in there this weekend and the uh, they were having a manager special, 25% off any rod and reel combo at Rural King. So I got this thing for somewhere uh, in the neighborhood of about $22 or $23. And uh, figured now it's as good a time as any to pick it up. So we're going to go ahead and take the reel off of the rod. And uh, we're going to put the reel on the workbench here. We're going to take it apart, take a look at it. And uh, one of the selling points on this, on this little placard here, is it is an all metal gear system uh, then it talks about the rod says it's got durable guides with stainless tip and uh, high vis glow tip so we will uh, see if this thing's we'll put some light to this we'll cut the lights here in, in the garage and see if these uh, tips actually glow like they said it's supposed to the rod is a two-piece rod very light uh, feels pretty balanced and uh, Let's see here. We'll grab onto the tip, put a foot down on the floor. It does have quite a bit of a backbone to it. You start to pull down, it's really starting to get stiff by about the third eye, so this is probably be a medium heavy uh, fast action rod. Uh, rating on it, uh, it says line weight 8 to 17 pounds, lure weight quarter to three quarter ounce. Kind of makes me nervous with a catfishing rig if I can only throw three quarters ounces of lead with it. But uh, we'll find out for sure whenever we uh, take this out and fish with it because I'm going to rig this up with about a three ounce no roll sinker. Uh, says you get some kind of a free headlamp with purchase. Uh, line capacity on this is 145 yards of uh, 20 pound test. I don't know what kind of lines on this. We'll take a look at the uh, line that comes on the reel also. So I'm going to set the rod aside. Get the camera moved, we'll look over this reel, and uh, we'll see if the reel's any count before we uh, go any further. So, give me just a moment, let you guys see what's inside this reel. Alright guys, here you have it. This is the uh, Big Cat 808 spin casting reel. Kind of a black, gunmetal, green color. It's got a power handle on it, so a very short power handle. Uh, we'll get our tape measure down here and measure that. About two and a half inches of throw, give or take. Uh, two and a quarter, center to center. It does have a clicky little drag there. Now this does have a bite alert function also. But uh, it has almost no resistance. So if you tried to fish with the clicker on this on, on this thing in current, you would quickly find yourself out of line, I, I do believe. So we're going to put that down there. We'll start off by uh, unscrewing the cap just like you would any other spin cast and reel. Set that off to the side. Looks like it is loaded up. It, it appears to be 20 pound mono on there. It feels like 20 pound mono. And to go any further we're going to have to remove the handle. So most spin, most spin cast reels they've got a nut, a little nylock nut over here on the right hand side. This one doesn't. This one has a uh, screw going all the way through it like a spinning reel would. And my guess is, we're going we're gonna to find out here in a second. My guess is this reel is ambidextrous. There's the retainer. We'll pull the reel out. And yes. You, you can see in there it has a contact piece on both sides. 
So we could switch these handles around, tighten this down, and we would have a left-handed reel. So I don't fish with left-handed reels. I even turn my spinning reels right-handed. So taking that out, see if we can go a little bit further. That should pop right out of there as one big assembly, and it is. It says all metal gearing, and guys, it appears that it is all metal gears in there. Let's put all this back together. Slide the reel back in the main body. Alright guys, I know you can barely see me. I've got the workbench light on. It's the only thing I've left on in the garage. I've had the uh, tip of this rod up underneath the uh, LED work lamp for a little while. And uh, we're going to pull the plug on this and we'll see if this glow tip actually glows. So here we go. Guys, it, it does indeed glow. The last segment of this rod does glow. So that will be handy at night fishing. All right, guys, so far everything that the uh, little placard on the rod said it would do, it has done. I'm fairly impressed with the reel. We're going to take this thing out, try to catch a catfish on it, and see how it performs under fire. And uh, we'll see if this thing's worth the money or not. So stick around. Let's see if we go catch a fish. That didn't take long. <laughs> come on. Did he come off? No. Oh. I said, come on. Oh. He's running through your line and everything else. Yeah. No. Here, I'm gonna. Hold on, I'm gonna try to. Here, no, you're all right. Just bring it right over here. Going up under the boat. Well, that's not a bad cat. Not as big as that one you had, but he felt a whole lot bigger than he was with that. <laughs> Guys, I ain't got a fish. I am solidly hung up, but uh, I wanted to do something here. Uh, I was just telling Heath a little while ago that I was going to pull the line off this rod, and I was worried about it breaking and everything else, and... Uh, I was nervous about the line that came on this, you know, factory line. And I can't get this mono to break. So, guys, <laughs> I guess the line that comes on this is uh, is half halfway decent. He ain't very big. Well, I said, oh, I said that. Yeah, well, might be our biggest one today. No, quite think so. Not for sure. About the same as the other two, ain't he? Yeah. Yep. Lines move from where it was. He's on. Yep, he's on. Yeah, come on. Hey, he's on there. Something bigger than what we had. Um, we want to pull that net. Where's that? You're sitting on top of it. Stay out that anchor line. Uh, Heath, this is a pretty good fish. Is it? It's a channel cat, but it's a pretty good one. Uh -oh. what the? Pull down on that. Yeah, there you go. Right. No. Got him? Yeah. Well, so far, that's the biggest thing that Zimco has tackled, and it handled it well. Did I get you with the mono? You're all right. There we go. That's a big old channel key. That's a nice channel kit. I bet that weighs 10 pounds. Oh, probably every bit of it. All right, come here. 
this is the one that had 100 pieces of fish on it. Oh, yeah. No way. It never touched bottom. It never touched the bottom. I can't move him. What is it? That ain't same that same fish, is it? See if he's got a hole in his mouth. <laughs> no, that ain't the same fish. That's the same fish. Whew. That's beat to death. It's been up under He's that. spawning. Or been spawning. It's been up under that road. Where's the grippers at? Oh. Come here. a big old channel cat. All right, get the grippers in him. <laughs> there we go. Look him in the eye. He hooked himself. Guys, the uh, Zebco Big Cat spin cast combo I think is a success. I think it's a good uh, rod and reel combo, especially for a uh, angler on a budget. And uh, I must say I'm fairly impressed with how it performed today. I was concerned that the uh, line would break when I was fighting that fish. Uh, as you saw when I got the thing hung up and how difficult it was for me to break the line, my concerns there were probably unwarranted. So all in all, I would say this is a uh, decent product. Would I put this up against the trophy catfish? Absolutely not. But uh, for channel cats, for eater cats, and for just general having fun, you are not going to get hurt whatsoever picking this up. Now I do have a uh, Shakespeare Tiger. It cost me just about the same amount of money. This beats it hands down. The real, better quality reel. The rod is definitely a better quality rod. And, uh, you know, this is definitely worth the $23 that I paid for it at Rural King. And I would say it's definitely worth the uh, $29.95 regular price tag on it. So if you do get a chance, if you think that's a, a rod that you may be interested in, I'd say it'd probably be a good one to pick up and try out. And uh, go catch some fish on it. Well, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Hit the like button, share it, leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought. And... Uh, if you would take a moment hit the subscribe button if you're on a mobile device you can hit that little bell it's located on the lower right hand corner of your screen and that will send you a notification anytime i post a new video or go live guys we're going to call it quits on this one i appreciate you watching with me today appreciate you checking it out and uh, until next time we'll catch you out on the water appreciate you watching the weekend angler